What's up guys? It's Vriantium here. Today we are back in Skyrim. And that's right you guys, and don't snap. It's gonna be an awesome freaking day. So guys, welcome back, and happy Wednesday. So, we're back here doing the Forgotten Seasons dungeon. And we're just gonna go ahead and kill him real fast, just like that. So yeah, we're gonna see how far we get into this dungeon now, and we'll see if it gets any different. I am curious to see what this whole dungeon is about, because I've not done any research about it. I don't even know if there's a quest associated with it, so... We're definitely going to figure this all out as we go. Uh, but I will say, the one thing that we do need to do is we need to find a damn bed. Because our magicka and our stamina is doing a little bit bad. Uh, and we need to go ahead and heal up if we can. Yes, there we go. Okay, cool. That's, that's better for me. So yeah, we need to find a bed. And we need to just kind of get out of this freaking cave. Away from all of this Dwemer stuff. Now, at the end of the last episode, I said that I was hearing explosions, and um, I'm still hearing some explosions, and it's making me kind of nervous. So, uh, let's go ahead and quick save just in case. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like there's going to be more and more mercenaries as we come through here. We do need to keep our eyes open, though, for pressure plates, because we don't want what happened last time to happen again. Okay, there's a dead Dwarven Centurion over there, but that... Where there's one Centurion, there's probably many. Again, where am- Uh-huh. I'm gonna go ahead and say that that's the, um, origin of the explosion sounds. Is the giant indoor lightning storm? Okay, well that's- that's fine. Let's go ahead and take all that stuff, thank you. Perfect, and now I'm too fat. Okay, and now I'm actually tired, so yeah, it is going to be kind of imperative for us to find a bed. Started Forgotten Seasons. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and say that we found the right place. Investigate the ruin. Okay, well, we're going to come back to this place in like 10 seconds. But I do want to go ahead and search and get all this good stuff out of you. Go ahead and take all that. There we go. And we can always give some stuff to Lydia if need be. But there's plenty of bodies down here. <laughs> okay. I do not like it when the dang staircase does that shit. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and run back this way. I don't necessarily want to investigate it right now. And there was a way to go back here, too, so let's go see what this place leads to. Oh, you know what? I think this is the, this is the entrance, isn't it? I think this is the entrance, which, yep, it is, which means there's a bed over here. Yes, it is the entrance! Holy shit, we figured it out. Oh, thank God, we have a bed over here. Fan-freaking-tastic. Okay, let's go ahead and sleep for the next 24 hours and we'll be good. Oh, much better. That saved our life. Fantastic. Okay, now we can go ahead and continue on and see what the hell this whole place is about. Although, what is this over here? Is there a dwarven metal ingot right here? There's a dwarven bow here, too. So that does 27 damage. How much does the Bow of Shadows do? 43. Yeah, there's no fucking way. I'm, I'm There's no damn way I'm switching out my bow. Not in a million years. I wonder if we can actually make it better, too. I bet you we can. I just haven't even gotten to a forge yet to, to like actually take a look to see if we can actually temper it. Okay. Well, this is not terrifying whatsoever. Just random lightning storms inside. The weather does know that we're inside, right? Not outside. I'll be taking those arrows. Thank you very much. Okay, we do need to be careful. We are getting close to the end of our weight limit. Okay, this is creepy AF. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and save right there. Thank you. Alright, well, uh... Say that ten times fast. Vardenkund? Okay, the plot thickens. We are entering into a much larger lightning room. Fantastic. Investigate the mage's camp. Okay. Oh, there's lava here. Fantastic. Okay. Never seen anything quite like that. What, lightning on the inside? Don't worry, you'll get used to it. Is this your first day in Skyrim, hun? Started the Dwarven Crown. Retrieve the Dwarven Crown. I've encountered a wizard wearing a strange-looking Dwarven Crown. The slots in the facing suggest a separate piece can be attached. I most certainly have not been approached by a wizard in a Dwarven Crown, but okay. That's fine, whatever floats your boat. Maybe he hallucinated it. Okay, but the good thing is there is a bed in here too, so we can sleep if we need to. However, we need to actually get more food. 
So any barrels that we come across, I need to go ahead and loot those bad boys. Because I'm running dangerously low on the sustenance of life, which is food. Oh, there we go. Perfect. That will work. Anything in these barrels? Nothing in these barrels, of course. Got wine. I suppose we could have liquid sustenance. Oh, perfect. Venison. Nice. Okay. Hi. What, uh, what is that? Oh! That is the Dwarven Crown. Elberon's Journal. Shut down the Weather Witch and disable the Conduit of Spring. Oh, disable the Conduit of Summer. And then Winter and Fall? Okay. Okay, interesting. Let's go ahead and take... How am I too heavy now that I just picked up paper? Okay, well, we can go ahead and just start dropping some of this stuff. We don't even need that stuff. Forgotten Seasons V1. Let's just go ahead and take that right there. And take a venison chop. Okay, it's the food that's weighing me down, because of course it is. Do I have any other things? Yeah, let's go ahead and drop that right there. Why did I pick up all this garbage? Okay, let me do some inventory management real fast. Okay, perfect. I just went ahead and swallowed every single ingredient that I had in my inventory. Took a little bit of damage, dropped some gyros and stuff like that, but I think we're much better now. We should be much, much better. Alright, but here we go. Novice lock. Yeah, I just went ahead and just shoveled everything into my face. Alright, perfect. We'll just grab all this stuff. There we go. Okay, so we need to shut down the differing conduits. So we have... Oh, there's the Mask of Autumn, Winter, Spring, but there's not one for Summer? Interesting. Okay. Unless the one that we're wearing is the one for Summer, which I could see being the case. Okay, cool. So where exactly is this trying to lead me? We have both of them on. Okay, well, it looks like we're just gonna kinda... We're just gonna kinda have to walk through the area and investigate a little bit. So I suppose we probably can't jump up here, can we? No. Alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that that way is fall. That way may be spring or summer. That is a giant fucking spider. Uh, th over that way is winter. Yeah, over that way must be winter. And then one of these places is the other place to go to. Whichever one I didn't say. Um, can we kill that spider already? Is that the witch or something? Because that is a big ass spider. Unless it's not actually there. Okay, I don't think that's actually there. Can we actually walk up to that? Okay, this was a bad idea. This was a bad idea. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. Okay. So that was... That was meant to happen. Okay, good to know. Cool, cool, cool. Thanks for letting me know, game. Appreciate you. Okay. Uh, well, I suppose I would think winter would probably be the hardest one, you'd, you'd think, right? So maybe we go into the winter one first? Uh, yeah, this isn't terrifying whatsoever. Just frozen mammoth skeletons and shit. Lots and lots of good stuff in this place. Holy crap. Leather scout helmet. I think that's part of the um, creation club as well. Yeah, okay. Winter's chimes. Your follower cannot accompany you here? Oh, good god. Okay, so we just need to do... Okay, the air is chilly in here. I don't know what that was, but I do not appreciate it. Two steps into winter and I can't feel my toes. Now the mage says we're going to have to jump 50 feet into the water so cold, it'll crack your bones. This is all Bjorn's fault. I wanted to try the summer room, but I drew the sodding short straw. Wow. Okay. Um, fantastic. Uh, let's not waste time here sneaking around. We're just going to have to kind of face everything as it comes. Because it's going to get real cold here real fast. I do have a torch. And I do have uh, the heat, the, the flame spells. Uh, what? Oh, what am I doing? It's in miscellaneous. Uh, right there. Thank you. That's cool. These are frosted dwarven spiders. That's kind of nifty. So they're kind of... Oh, Jesus! They're kind of specific to the, to the different season. That's kind of nifty. Okay, they don't do that much damage to me, so I should be fine. I am wearing dragon boat armor, though, so that could, that could be one of the, could be a part of it. Okay, well, that hurts. Holy shit, that hurts. 
Alright, let's go ahead and heal up. <laughs> Holy crap. Alright, let's take that out as well, just in case. Okay, here comes another one. Uh, can I food throw? Da, you. I don't have the full... F Holy shit! Gah, uh. Don't you touch me. Stop it. Stop it. I'm gonna walk off the cliff at this at this rate. Holy crap. Um, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I, I don't wanna... I don't want any trouble, buddy. I do not want any trouble. Stop it. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, damn it. Okay, cool. That stuns him just a little bit more. Okay, we can't be close to him when he explodes. Oh, mean good run. Yes. Oh, holy crap, dude. That was not okay. Okay, we definitely need to be careful in this area. There is water in here. And with us being on survival mode, that's gonna get really, really bad. Oh, this is gonna suck on survival mode. Are you kidding me? Wait a second. Okay, before we do this, if we jump into that water, it's going to be freezing. And it's going to be killing us very quickly, I'm sure. Ooh, go. Holy crap, yeah. Do you see how freaking fast that almost, ki like, took my health down? Alright, let's go with flames, and let's go with a torch. And let's just kind of burn the ground beneath my foots. I'm hoping this, this helps a little bit. It does look like it's helping. I'm hoping that there was nothing in the actual water that we needed. Um, I suppose... Do we have any fur armor on us? We don't have any fur armor on us, no. I wonder if it has a wetness rating when it's on... And, like, if I were to take it off, if it would help? Probably not. I'd probably freeze faster if I did that. Okay, but let's just go ahead and sneak along the ground. Okay, there's a spider over there. I suppose if worst comes to worst, we will turn survival mode off when we're inside of this dungeon. It'll make it easier, but it'll also make it, you know, less fun, I'd say, because there's less risk. But if there's any more swimming sections, we're kind of um, up shit creek without a paddle. Oh no, there's more water. Okay, let's see what happens. This doesn't look like I'm going to be swimming. Oh god, no I am going to be swimming. Just barely though, just barely. We're okay, we're okay. We're fine. It was just our foots, they get a little wet, but we're fine. We're totally fine. You feel warmer, but still chilly. That's possibly because I am wet. So I just need to continue to heal myself up the best I can. Why do I feel like I'm not going the right direction? Didn't we just jump down? Oh wait, no, we were just down there. Okay. We are going in the right direction, most likely. But which direction do we go from here? I think we've got to go that way. Yeah, there's a chest along this way. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that this is the right way to go. Can I turn this burner on, please? Is this, is this going to keep you warm? Ooh, it's an apprentice lock. Hello. Okay, I jumped back down because I'm pretty sure I need to come up here. Oh my god, is that a goddamn ice wraith? Oh, this is so unfair to people in survival mode. Holy shit. So yeah, I ended up having to jump down. Um, the lock that I was going through was the apprentice lock. I broke like fucking six lockpicks trying to open that damn thing. Okay, let's go ahead and quick save just in case. We're back at as full health as we can have. Now, if I can get a stealth shot on this Ice Wraith, I might be able to do a bit more damage to it. Just like that. Yeah, there we go. Nice. That's what we like to see. Hell yeah! I think it's it's stuck on that icicle. Cool. Nice. Okay, I would be... Fa it would be fantastic if I could find, some, like, a natural heat source or something. Hell, my farts are probably fucking frozen at this point. Ugh! Oh shit, I should have I should have guessed that there was gonna be another one. If he hits me with an attack, it's gonna freeze me. And that is going to really, really suck. Okay, it looks like he's stuck like his friend was, so cool. That's a nice little spot to get them stuck on. Nice. Let's grab his stuff, there we go. Okay, yeah, let's not step inside of that. That looks nice and frigid. Okay, well, it's probably a good thing that I did winter first, because the water alone is enough to kill me. 
Okay, well, here goes nothing. Okay, no swimming as of yet. Just need to go this way, please. Okay, I'm very cold, but it's okay. We're just making our way up. Making our way downtown. Uh, oh, you've got to be kidding me right now. What I wouldn't give for some fire arrows right now, because, oh... Okay, uh, can we go ahead and just toast him? Hi there, big man. No, no, stop it. Get away from me. Please do not chase me all the way down to the water. Holy shat. Okay, this is a risk. Okay, cool, cool, cool. He can't follow me down here, I don't think. I don't think he'll be able to even get down here, truthfully. Okay, I'm standing on the pipe. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's just wait it out. Oh, sweet. I can get shots at him from down here. Hell yeah, dude. Okay, but that was when he was standing there. Now that he's moved, I can't touch him. This would be so much better if I had Unrelenting Force fully upgraded, because then, then I could just Fusro-da him off of the cliff and I wouldn't even have to fight him. Okay, what kind of arrows do I actually have? Do I have any fire arrows? I don't. I have dwarven arrows. I have elven arrows. I think we need to definitely use something that's, you know, a little bit better. Burns trolls for 15 points. Yeah, that's not going to help me in this situation. Oh god, the air is treacherously cold. Okay, luckily the frost atronach is actually about, like, down to half health. So I did some decent damage to him. As long as I can get a couple shots off on him before he comes over here, I should be able to kill him. Just like this. Boom, bam! Alright, so that's the Frost Atronach dead. But there's also spiders in here, so we do need to be careful. Now, the good thing is, the, the frostiness and the kind of the cold weather and everything like that seems to be pretty well limited to just the water. Now I wonder, can that warm me up over there? I would really like to be able to get some warmth. Tell me this actually emits warmth? It doesn't. Oh good, another locked chest. Fantastic. More lock picks to break. Alright, so at this point I'm just kind of running past these spiders. I've got to see if I can get somewhere where they can't get to me. Oh shit, I'm gonna die. Okay, so my strategy of trying to sneak past the spiders did not work. And my strategy of trying to run past the spiders did not work, so uh, plan C is to just kill them. And hope to god they don't kill me. There we go. Perfect. Because that, <laughs> that was kind of shitty. <laughs> I fell maybe like, I don't know, five feet into the water, but because the water is so fucking cold it killed me. Oh god, survival survival problems. Alright, so we do not want to jump down there, because we, we were already down there. So we need to go ahead and come this way. And hope to God that we're going in the right direction. I think we are, but damn, is it kind of hard. It's easy to get turned around in this place. Um, so I tell you what I'm going to do here. I'm going to be a little bit smart. Hopefully this is smart. And uh, try and do that. There we go. Perfect. Didn't need to touch the water at all. Wonderful. And now we can go ahead and check inside of here. Wow, there's a lot of good stuff in here. Sanctified Dwarven Dagger. I'll take that to sell it. Okay, looks like we're going in the right direction. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Conduit Control Gem. Disable the Conduit of Winter. Okay, is it finally going to warm up in here? Okay, I hear ticking sounds, and I am not a big fan of that. Now, please do not make me fight a boss or something like that. Don't be sadistic, okay? Don't be sadistic, game. Okay, but it looks like we just need to come back that way. Okay, we made it. There is the Vardenkund Gallery. Now, do we need to place this thing, the, the gem, anywhere specific? Or do we just kind of keep it in our butts and hold on to it for a little bit? I think it's probably the latter if I had to- yeah! Fucking balls! Lydia! Must you do that? Must you do that? Good god, my heart just almost failed. Okay, so now that we're back here in this kind of lovely place, this looks like the place for spring, possibly? Is this spring? Oh yeah, spring symphony. That's gonna be very nice. 
That's going to be a nice place to go to. It's going to be fantastic. But, uh, unfortunately, we are indeed at the end of today's episode right here. But I'm going to go ahead and take about 15 winks, uh, grab myself a nice little meal over here. Please don't fall into the lava. And, uh, yeah, we, we, we shall reconvene in the next episode. So, until next time, thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.